If you ask Midjourney to write text, it looks like this. It's trying to do May the 4th be with you. Also making road signs with any type of text, it just fails. Even the simple Terminator text, it just can't do it. While Ideogram was able to make the Taco Me Home logo, even a Baby Yoda steal your heart I will, even this wild 3D rendered text typography. A bunch of examples of other people, what they're making, as well as we're gonna create together four different types of images with text and logo and stickers. So you can see some examples of how you can use this so you can become more productive in your work if you're doing design or any type of graphics. So let's start by going to ideogram.ai. And here you can see that we can sign up with Google now. Before, you needed to have a special access code that somebody would give you. But now, just sign up with Google and let's get inside. This is how it looks like straight off the bat on the trending page. And you can literally see Black Friday text here. Let's just take a look at some of these examples. I love that when the text is actually correct, you can get such different designs and really think in a different level. We're also going to test it against Midjourney because obviously there are going to be some limitations that Midjourney is going to be better at this. While Ideogram is definitely the winner in text. Let's click on the top tab and see what other things we can get. This is what they got with Calm Down. It's free 3D render and they actually get multiple iterations as well. You can see many of them didn't even have text, but this one turned out perfectly. We're gonna create some of ourselves. Whoa, look at this logo. The 3D logo is handwritten text of Ink Attack in black and red pictures, printing 3D render in the form of the Netflix logo photo. Damn, that's such a cool logo design. They got this one correct as well, Netflix, but the other ones, not so much. Vacation, I will take. It actually managed to do the text completely correct on all of them. This one has a little bit of an artifact, but hey, design a retro style image. No way, brainstorm. <laughs> Looks like a trailer for a bad movie. The style here though is absolutely wild. Some expert prompting this guy is doing. Apparently people on Ideogram not liking that you can't delete your images. And they're asking for feature recommendations like add a comment section by hitting the top of this Kind of like social media, which is really awesome. This is only the last 24 hours. I am ready to kindergarten. I'm ready to crush garden. So you can see sometimes it's not getting the text correct, but let's try actually to see what we can create. Many stock image websites are banning AI images, but this stock footage website is embracing AI images so you can make faster, cooler and easier images just for you. It's called 123RF, which is a stock footage website that have been around for a long time. So the first feature is you can actually search with AI, a Viking man in the forest, and you get a collection of real and AI generated images. You can even find one you like, and you can click on generate variations, and it will remake the images with AI. Also just on the website, you can click create with AI, write an image prompt and choose a style let's choose cinematic and click on generate just like that you get these crazy images all with super high quality this makes it so easy to get the perfect stock image for you they have a bunch of free images that you can just download for free or if you want to get the premium images you need to get credits or a monthly plan take your creativity to the next level with one two three rfs ai features go see why they're the top in the ai stock image market just click my link in the description down below. Thank you so much to 123RF for sponsoring this section of the video. Let's start with something easy. Justin Timberlake in the style of old school poster with a sign saying it's gonna be me. So it always starts out as blurry and then it gets sharpness over time. <laughs> We got homeless Justin Timberlake, it's gonna be May. This guy on the right, it's gonna won't be May. One of the cool features is you can actually go into the one you like and you can click the remix button to continue down that path. So let's try that. We can also click on these styles like poster. Maybe you should add that as a tag and generate. Okay, <laughs> we're getting into the deep dark depths of hell. If you print this poster out and have it on your wall, I commend you for it. Let's try Terminator with the text, 
I'll be back. I'm not sure why we got the cat maybe not safe and the text here also not really working well. So let's refine the prompt a little bit right away. Some cool iterations. Let's try the first one and let's try to remix it. Let's try clicking on the poster again and generate. It's actually really fast at generating the images. These iterations also really cool. I can definitely see how this can be used in movies or any type of poster really. Let's try more in 3D space. So here's the new prompt. We're going to click on 3D render this time. And let's make it a square. Steal, I will. I cute elm. And here he literally stole a heart and going like, ah, I don't, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna change it to having a t-shirt that says a couple of them, but it definitely doesn't say all the words. Cute I am, steal your heart, I will. Almost there. Let's try to get him to hold the sign so we can see if the text actually pops up. I mean, <laughs> this guy is actually cute AF. This one was the only one that had all the words in here. Let's try to remix this one. There we go. We actually made it happen. <laughs> Wait, stall instead of steal. Now I want to try to make this like 3D looking text, kind of like donuts. Create text typography of death of mid journey in the style of donut 3D. Damn. Okay. Not exactly what we were looking for. Let's just do style of 3D. Also didn't work. Let's make it even simpler. That actually got no text at all. We can learn from this guy that got all the text. Apparently just prompted with text. All of this in quotes and then typography and 3D render at the end. And let's click on this typography tag as well. Yeah, it's not really doing it. I thought it was easier. Let's do no filters maybe. A little better. Okay, we actually got some decent results. Let's try to remix this one. Whoa! Damn, this text looks insane. Let me actually try to go deeper. Remix this one. Once again, it just gets way better once you start remixing. I'm gonna go another level. Yeah, I think all of these looks really good. Yeah, one of these are definitely going into the thumbnail. So here are all the generations that we made with Death of Mid Journey. And if I click on download, they're about 99 kilobytes. So they're quite low resolution. You might have to upscale them. Now I know you guys are gonna use this for logo design and maybe even stickers to sell on Etsy to do your site hustle. So let's see if it does well at logos. Logo design of a taco restaurant with text taco me home. All right, not bad. Pretty minimalistic. Yeah, this one on the right could definitely work. Let's try to remix that one. Easy. We got three kind of bad ones, but this one could easily be a logo. That's impressive. Let's do a detailed t-shirt logo design with dog pug with the text carry me, please. There is no way right off the bat. A little businessman pug right there. If we remix this one, yeah, you just get way better designs. Let's do one more for the sticker boys out there. Detailed sticker logo of a T-Rex holding toilet paper with the text oh crap yeah maybe not okay we got a couple of ones saying scratch my back these are cute sticker logos because t-rex got short arms okay not bad. Now I want to compare it to Mid Journey. I've already kind of seen that the model that they're using is a stable diffusion variant. So when it comes to faces, you sometimes get these weird artifacts, as you can see, the face being a little messed up. And hey, that happens with Mid Journey too. But let's just take a quick look at, for example, this one. I'm just gonna copy the entire prompt. These are the four iterations from Ideogram. And here is the Mid Journey. And here is the result from Mid Journey. Way more realistic and detailed. It really just makes the textures, the lighting looks even better and the color colors as well. Here we got student cats in a class benches with school uniform photo 3D render. Let's do the exact same prompt. And here is what mid journey generated. As you can see the realism, the lighting just looks more real. It just looks better in my opinion, more high quality. But if I prompt Terminator humanoid robot with a t-shirt and the text, I'll be back, you'll get text like Humal or Bobum. And a road sign with the text road work ahead, <laughs> you get just gibberish. So yes, I'll say Mid Journey is the best for image generation, but Ideogram takes the number one spot for text generation. And if you're wondering where Ideogram came from, they was founded by former Google Brain researchers. They launched with 16.5 million. They have a bunch of investors from AX Ventures, Golden Ventures, even Andre Karpathy is down here. That makes it sound way more legit. I just love to see the technology getting better. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get into automating your work with AI, check out the Patreon in the description down below. And if you want to keep watching our videos, click the next video on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.